the Buddha teaches you to pay careful attention when you're doing your acts of generosity, when you're observing the precepts, and when you're meditating. Pay careful attention to what you're doing. Look at the results. This is called appropriate attention, which is different from bare attention. Bare attention, you're just supposed to be non-reactive. It's basically a teaching in equanimity. Appropriate attention is when you think about causes and effects and realize how much of what you're doing in the present moment is causing suffering and stress. And you want to look into that, which means that the, the arrow is pointed inside. That's where your main interest should be. What am I doing? What are the results? If there's suffering inside, what am I doing that's causing that suffering? What can I change? Because that's the other part of it. Looking at things in terms of the Four Noble Truths is that you can change things. And you can change things in such a way that you can create a path inside that leads to the end of suffering. That is a possibility. That asks you to lift your sights from your ordinary narratives of what's going on in the world, what's going on in your life. They're giving you the power to make a change. As the Buddha said, we're responsible for our actions which means we don't have to wait for somebody else to come along and solve our problems for us. We get advice, but then we have to take the advice and learn how to use it. And again, when you follow somebody's advice, look at the results. If it's good, keep it up. If it's not, well, you, either you misunderstood the advice or the advice wasn't good. But this is how you test things. You commit yourself to the practice and then you reflect on what you're doing. And it's that combination that allows you to see things you wouldn't see otherwise. Because if you just go through life simply aware of what's happening, but without looking for cause and effect and without trying to move things in a particular direction, they don't go in a particular direction. They tend to go down. When you realize you've got it within your power to change the direction of your life for the better, and the Buddha gives you all that you need to know. What's required on your part is the effort and the dedication. Partly this comes from a sense of responsibility. Partly comes simply from the fact that you've had enough suffering. When you find yourself falling in line with your old defilements, you ask yourself, have you suffered enough or do you want to suffer some more? When you ask yourself those kinds of questions, it lays things out in black and white, makes things very clear. And the more clarity you can bring to what's going on right now, the more you're going to benefit. So apply appropriate attention. Realize that wherever there's suffering, there's clinging. It's something you're doing and something you don't have to do. You can take the same factors that create suffering and you can turn them into a path if you apply knowledge to them. And that path can lead to the end of suffering. That is a possibility. The world denies that possibility over and over again. But you can keep it open inside yourself, and that's where it matters. <laughs>